The Sunderland Bridge is a well-known, frequently traveled landmark linking Sunderland and neighboring South Deerfield. This magnificent Art Deco spam was designed and built by the C.G. Maney Company in 1938 for $900,000 a project paid for by President Roosevelt's Works Progress Administration. This was not the first bridge built in this location. It was actually the 10th. The bridge's history dates back to 1812, when the first version was built by the Sunderland Bridge Corporation. It was not nearly as aesthetically beautiful or engineered as sturdily as its successors. It was actually a crudely built wooden structure, which was a little too close to the water. It eventually washed out, and was replaced with another similarly built wooden structure. From 1812 to 1877, seven other bridges were constructed. While the various bridge designs were ambitious and intended to survive harsh weather, they ultimately fell victim to winter ice dams and heavy spring floods. Six of those early bridges were toll bridges. The toll collectors lived in a toll house which still stands at the end of School Street. The seventh bridge built was the first span which did not require a toll to cross. It is also Sunderland's most famous bridge, mainly because of how it was destroyed. On a December evening in 1876, the town's doctor, C.J. Trow, was crossing the bridge on his horse when it was hit by a large ice dam. Trow, his horse, and the wagon survived, but the incident prompted construction of a sturdier bridge which would be able to better withstand the elements. In 1877, the town's first iron bridge was built. It was the eighth bridge constructed and provided safe passage to travelers till 1936, when it was destroyed by the Great Flood of that year. This time, the destruction was not caused by faulty construction, but from another bridge upriver in Montague, which was knocked loose by the floodwaters and traveled downstream, eventually crashing into and destroying Sunderland's iron bridge. That led to construction of two more versions, the ninth, a crudely built but safe temporary bridge, and bridge number 10, an Art Deco version completed in 1938, which has been in use ever since. In 1992, the bridge underwent what turned out to be a somewhat controversial renovation, which saw the original cast iron Art Deco railings discarded and replaced with simpler blue contemporary railings. Despite the changes, the Sunderland Bridge still retains many of its beautiful architectural features and continues to provide safe passage to thousands of travelers each year. <laughs>